Hello all. So in this video, we're going to be talking about units and dimensions. Now, I'm sure we're all familiar with units, but um, I just want to get into a little bit of detail concerning these units. So generally, in thermodynamics, we're going to be using two types of units. There's the SI unit, and then there's the, the US customary unit. So what is a unit? It's any type of um, quantity characterized by a dimension. So this, for example, could be length. I'm going to use L for length. Um, it could be mass, time, temperature. These are just these are just things that we use in thermodynamics. Force, for example. And these are the conventions that I'm going to use for these. So L for length, M for mass, T for time, capital T for temperature, and then capital F for force, right? So there are different, different as I said, there's um, the US customary and then there's the SI. In the US, we tend to talk more in using the customary system. So like five feet over there, I'm six feet tall. Um, um, we don't use like I'm one meter tall and that's what the rest of the world uses, right? So, I mean, it's good to know what both are and what those units can get us, right? So in terms of the SI unit, we use for, in terms of length, we use meters. Let me separate these. So this is SI. So we use meters. And I'm putting that in parentheses just to show how we shorten it. Because you're not going to write five meters out every time. You can write five M and people will understand that you're saying five meters. M mass is given in kilograms. <laughs> Forgot how to spell kilograms for a second. Time is given in seconds. It's denoted with an S. Now, what do you think temperature is given in? I'm sure many of you say Celsius, but actually it's something called Kelvin. And we denote that with a K. Force <coughs> is given in Newtons. Newton was another famous scientist like Kelvin. Um, so this is SI. We also have US customary. <laughs> Can't spell today. Now, in the US customary, it's a little bit different. So in terms of length, we use feet. So you can denote that with this. Sometimes I mean, you might see me denote feet with like an apostrophe, but it's, it just means feet. Mass is given in pounds. Now you might see me write like pounds with a small m. That just means pound mass. And, and there's another type of pound that we'll see. Time is also given in seconds. Now, how many of you think it's Fahrenheit? It's sort of the same thing. We, we use something called Rankine, and that's like the absolute scale type of temperature. And that's denoted with an R. Force is given by pounds also. So you might see me denote this with a small f. That's just pound force. Now, also it's important to note that we do say degrees Celsius, but we don't say degrees Kelvin or ranking. We have degrees Fahrenheit, but not degree ranking. And that's, I mean, I don't really know why it is actually. They used to say degrees Kelvin, but just know that that's why they don't use degrees Kelvin. Now, these units can be used to describe other units. Now, remember how I mentioned pressure before? We can have, for example, in the SI, we have pressure, which is force over area. Now, what's our, what's our SI unit for force? That's Newton, right? And, okay, I didn't really say this, but area is sort of like 
a length times a length, right? So we have meters times meters. So that gives us newtons over meters squared. And this is equal to something we call a Pascal. And that's denoted with a PA. So, I mean, as we can see here, we have things, we have units that we can use to get other units. Now we have things, we talk about work a lot in thermodynamics because as engineers, a lot of the time our job is to get work out of something, out of a, out of a turbine or out of, out of something. We want our heat engines to do work, right? So work is given by, um, that's denoted with a joule. I'm sure you've heard this, a joule, right? Now what do we know work, the, the definition for work? That's just force times distance, right? or force times, let me say a length. Now, in the SI unit, I keep using the SI unit because that's what I'm gonna be using most of the time. But taking the example in SI, right, we have Newtons for force times meters, right? And that gives us a joule. Now we also have something called power, right? Power is just work over a given amount of time, right? So that's a force times a distance over the amount of time, right? And what do we know as our time in SI units? Same thing as US customary, seconds. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. We can have values like this to be able to figure out other values and other units, right? And this helps you to check out your work. If, if you're getting, in terms of pressure, if you're getting Newton over meters cubed, you know you did something wrong somewhere. You know, so I mean, it's really good to always check out your units. So, um, I mean, I think this is, I'm going to stop here. Just know that units are very important. And, and I know it gets trivial at times when you want to just get through the problem. And I do it at times too. But units are really important. So, I mean, I think I'm going to stop here. Uh, tune into the next video. Thank you.